Here's the latest news and information on what's happening with pricing in the car industry. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Welcome to the home of super high intensity training on how to buy and sell new or used cars, courtesy of The Homework Guy. You just can't beat super high intensity training. And if you've watched all the videos on this channel, consider yourself great, great, a graduate great, great. and get yourself one of great. these awesome new shirts. All right, before I get into today's presentation, I want to remind my viewers that the car industry went through two previous downturns in the last two decades. They aren't strangers to this. The first correction was right after 9-11 when consumer confidence was severely shaken. And how did the automakers respond then? Well, pay attention. GM put out 0% financing for 36 months. 36 months. Which happened to be the most common length of car loan at that time. Did you miss that? 0% interest on 36 months? Because 36 months was the most common car loan. I know I've beaten this to death. In the entire car industry for car buyers, car buyers were so much smarter than car buyers are today. Say what you want, but clueless car buyers have been fooled by the car industry and sucked into thinking the new normal is 72 months. The moment you thought that was cool, the cost of cars went right through the roof because you, the car buyer, kicked the door open. You agreed to start paying for the same car. You know, those ones you bought for 36 months years ago? You agreed rather foolishly to go six years and seven years and now even 10 years. No, I'm not kidding. And now they got gotcha. you. A 10-year loan, you guys, is like a 60-year mortgage on a house. But I digress. If you're a first-timer here and this is your first interface with super high-intensity training on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the homework guy if you'd like a response directly from me or one of my staff members. You can also email me at info at thehomeworkguy.com with a specific question. Or if you'd like a free car contract review, just black out your personal information. Send it our way. We'll be glad to take a look at it. All right, here's the pricing update. Turbulence is headed into the used car market. A lot of it. As a rule, recessions are not kind to car prices, and this one is no exception. However, this isn't the first bad economy rodeo for car makers. Like Jacob Venezuela writes, I've been hitting brick walls on Chevy truck deals. No dealers going lower than advertised price aside from rebates. I think they are sitting on them thinking, since the factory stopped building, their on-lot trucks are more valuable. Yet, none of them have moved in the last few weeks. This can be very true of dealers near you, especially on new vehicles. There's a reason for that. I'll come back to it in a moment. There's a lot more information on used car prices, so let's dive into that. If you practice some patience and time, your purchase is right. Used car buyers can see huge savings. Wholesale prices on used vehicles are down 10 to 12%. And for those of you who think that's not a big deal, you didn't realize that the previous record drop was 5.5% in November of 2008. Short-term wholesale prices are expected to fall even further, bottoming out in the month of June. However, this is also bad news for anyone wanting to sell their car and even worse news for anyone who wants to trade their vehicle in. Dealers don't want your vehicle right now like they did months ago. If you ever thought you'd get a lousy trade evaluation before, expect dealers to try to steal your car if you actually decide to trade it in. They don't want it, so they'll only take it if you basically give it away. This would be a great time for you to learn how to sell your car yourself, private party. I do have a video coming out on this channel that hits on that subject soon, so be patient. So if you're currently in the market for a used car, here's what I suggest. Most dealers are aware that in a month, it's likely that it's going to get a lot harder to sell and they're going to have to keep reducing prices. Throw out some feelers now and get a few dealers bidding for your business. It's possible you can take advantage in a big way sooner versus later. With an already bloated supply of wholesale inventory, used car supply is expected to be even larger in the months ahead and as I just mentioned, likely to hit bottom in June. Let's talk about your current car. If you want to get rid of it, there are a few options. Trade it in and take a financial beating. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Or you could keep it and wait for a while longer. Just be aware that it may be next spring before car prices are back in line, so don't expect to get what you want out of it. The other option, as I've already stated, is just sell it yourself. And I'm going to give you some help on that here very soon. All right, many of my viewers are reporting that some car dealers are just digging in their heels and refusing to budge, sitting on their inventory, discounting nothing, despite having little or no customers. Let me share with you some business knowledge and some wisdom about that situation. As with any business, the urgency or need to move product largely depends on the cash situation of the company. Let me say this as clearly as possible so you don't miss it. 
If the dealer in your area can stand firm on any inventory they have, and they refuse to discount any of it, despite being in the middle of a recession, despite not having any customers on the lots, let me point something out to you. Do you really believe they were losing money on all those car deals that went out the door in the previous weeks, months, and years? The answer should be obvious. Do you realize they told that we're losing money story to virtually every customer who came through their doors? They told it so many times that even their own sales staff believes it and accepts pennies on the dollar for their hard work while the dealer owner was getting very fat. Just like a casino, all of us witnessed the dealerships building these multi-million dollar facilities. Here we are in the midst of a severely down economy, the most difficult economic times in most of your lifetimes, and the dealer is sitting on inventory without discounting it. The clue should be blowing your mind. Think about that. Just how much money are they making off of every car deal that goes down the road? You're shopping at a dealership that looks like a palace. The dealer is absolutely killing it in the profitability column when you add it all up. Without that big fat bank account they acquired on the backs of previous customers, there's no way they could be sitting there doing nothing right now. Any accountant or economist knows exactly what I'm talking about, and now you should get it too. To all your dealers out there sitting on your inventory, you've just blown your cover. You've been sticking the screws to your customers, and now you're living off the fat with the hopes that the market returns without you ever discounting a dime. Thanks for your transparency. On the new car front, there's nothing really to talk about, sadly. Prices are only down about 1% right now. That's basically nothing. Remember all the immediate announcements of plant shutdowns? Everyone got excited because they thought this meant great new car prices were just around the corner. However, did you consider why the manufacturers shut down their plants? I think it's a supply and demand equation. They didn't want to keep making those cars and be forced to lower those outrageously high prices they've been putting on new cars these days. They shut down supply as quickly as possible so that you, the consumer, would have less new car selection when things start turning around and they could keep gouging on new car prices that are totally out of control. So what are new car manufacturers most likely to do? Well, they'll do what many of them have been doing and what they did back in 2001 and again in 2008. They will offer financing deals, more 0% car loans because they want to stave off a collapse in car prices. By throwing more car loan deals out there, they think they can fool you into spending those outrageous prices on their new cars, trucks, and SUVs. As I mentioned many times before, don't ever forget about the private party market out there. Tons of great vehicles out there for sale, and you could be helping someone who desperately needs to sell. You won't suffer any of the finance office harassment, and you'll definitely get a car cheaper. Just get your mechanic to look at anything you decide to do. Any vehicle that you think is right for you, dealer or private party, an inspection is always something smart car buyers do. All right, I'll have another update for you on car prices in just two weeks. If you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And do me a favor, would you? Include hashtag the homework guy in your comments below. Share the video on social media with your friends and use the hashtag again. With time, the accumulation of information on tips with hashtag the homework guy will be phenomenal. If you've watched all the videos on this channel, send me an email and let me know what you've learned. And perhaps I'll send you one of the super high intensity graduate shirts as your diploma. For those of you who'd like to say thanks for the tip, I'll leave the links for the Cash App and PayPal in the description box below. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos and free car contract reviews. And we'll keep you up to date with videos like this one on the current market conditions. For any of you who get those smoking hot deals out there, put it in the comment section down below and share so others can benefit from your great experience. And if you don't want to comment and share, well, seriously, is that the best you can do? That's it for now. I'll be back soon with another super high intensity training video on car buying. Thanks for coming back. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone. Hey, where'd he go? Is this over already? I, I just ran out to go get some coffee and popcorn and I come back and, and he's gone. Oh well, I, I guess the show's over folks. Anybody got any questions for me? It's kind of rough being his twin brother. I'm out in public and people always go, are you the homework guy? All right, you guys got any questions? Oh, you know what? People always want to know uh, like what software do we use for recording videos here at the homework guy? Adobe Wan Kenobi. May the fourth be with you. I gotta go now. Um, 
back here on the on the dark side.